Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part five for a step by step guide to learn Angular. So if you are directly coming to this video, I will recommend you to watch previous video first. So these are the topics we are going to cover in this video series. And today we are going to study about routing. So this is our to do application we are going to create in this video series. And for this, uh, components we are going to add route. I guess you all heard about um, single page application. So in that uh, for navigation, we don't change the browser URL for one page to another page. So internally that views are getting changed. So in the angular terms, we can say like to handle the navigation from one view to the next, we use angular router. So we are going to create first a basic route. So this is the application we created in our previous video session. So we added this account and dashboard and to do components. And uh, we added one uh, layout component for our account uh, dashboard and to do. So now Quickly, I'm going to add a HTML page for our home component. So in the app folder, right click and then click home dot component dot HTML. So if we see our uh, dashboard and to do component. So we are having this common dashboard to do and logout link. So that we are going to add in the our home component. So I'm adding uh, links for dashboard to do and logout. dashboard to do and logout. So if any one of you is from .NET background, so I can tell you like in the ASP.NET, we have master page and then child page for that. Or in the MVC.NET, we have layout. So similar to that, this is our master page. So now I have to add where our child will get uh, loaded. So after this links, it should load below. So I'm going to add one view. And I should load our uh, child inside this uh, view. So I can add router outlet directive here. So this directive is used to load our child views. Now just change this inline HTML to our newly created HTML page. So we can change this to template URL and we can give path. So it should be home dot ponent dot html and save it. So now we are having our path and we are done with the, this basic html part also. Now let's open our app dot component dot html and here the I should have one header. So now like and I should have one common footer. So let's add this for And uh, this should be the main route for all our pages. So uh, like our login and our uh, main home page and uh, register page should render between this 
two header and footer so our same router outlet i am going to add here so let's say it one view i am going to add router outlet and save it so if you are creating this application manually so you must have this uh, base hrif in your head section so by this uh, it, it assume that your app folder is a root folder so if you are deploying it in the some next nested application so you may need to change this hrif path based on your folder structure so now we are done with the html part so now let's define our route so for that we need to import a router module so for that let's open this and import router module and let's copy this and i'm going to add this import statement of from so now we have that router module and now we have to tell that router what routes we need so i am going to add one constant routes and it is a type of routes equals to array so in this array we need to define our route and we need to pass this to our router module so we have this for root method and i am going to this array here now let's define our route before that let's open our application screenshot so this is our to do application and this dashboard and uh, to do component is a children of our home component and uh, we have this login and register so in the app route uh, we need uh, basically three uh, path one which navigate to our home component uh, another navigate to our login and another is to register so now let's define that so in this routes uh, array we can define our the uh, what path what component should load and uh, so let's add this so what i want is when path is empty i want to load my login component so in that component will be login component so let's add it from here similarly let's copy this what i want is when path is register i want to open the register component so let's add this so we have now the register component and uh, similar to that when i want when path is home i want to open my home component so now we are done with our basic round part and uh, now let's run our application so open the terminal and run command ng serve and enter so it's compiled successfully now control and click on this link 
so it should open your browser window so now here we can see when path is empty we don't have anything here so it's loading our login component now let's see if i will add a register here yeah so if i am adding a register it's loading our register component and similar to that if we have home so yeah we are having our home component and all this header and footer is common for all our component so now we have added uh, routing for our login register and home component but we didn't edit uh, login uh, routing for our children for our home like dashboard and to do so that part uh, we are going to cover in next video uh, when we will study about lazy loading and uh, we will add one wildcard component and uh, we will see how we can add that redirect to property to our route so that's all for this video thank you for watching